Hey guys, it's Deb Joyce Meek from Delight of My Art. Today we're going to be playing with some of the free celebration paper, the Oso Ombre. And I saw this technique, it's been around for a while, uh, using ombre paper to make it look kind of like it's got a satin sheen to it by cutting the strips and layering them uh, backwards and forwards next to each other in a starburst pattern and it looks really neat and kind of satiny. So I thought we'd play together and I'd teach you how to do that real quick. Um, my daughter's here, she's a little, Phil had a little tummy ache so she's staying home from school. So there she is, <laughs> trying to catch up on anything that she missed. But uh, let's turn you down to the tabletop and we'll get started. Got some cats doing some shenanigans downstairs or something. Okay, so here's some cards I've been playing with. Good morning, Danielle. I showed these, I think, just a couple of days ago. Let me scoot this forwards on Facebook. But this is what I'm talking about, the ombre effect here with the different strips back and forth. So this one's using the Snailed It bundle. We're going to be using the Sweet Strawberry bundle today. And um, I just had gotten this ombre paper in the mail, so I um, was playing around with it. This is using another, two other free <laughs> things. This is the Flower and Field. This black and flowery paper is really neat. And this is called A Touch of Ink, and it comes with the butterfly and the hummingbird. So I popped those up on a double stack of dimensionals on the wing part, and then the feet are flat against the cardstock, so it kind of gives it a cool 3D look. I also stamped in Versamark the background on the ombre paper. I don't know if you can see that in the camera here, but it's a really subtle butterfly all over the background there. Hopefully you can see that. And then we've got this hummingbird one. Thank you so much. Again, double height on the wing tip here. And then the uh, beak, I guess, is flat against the, the card. And I colored this with blends because I love blends. Did the envelope to match with that one. And then this is one that just I just got in the mail too, this darling donkey one. And so that was really cute and fun to play with put some flowers in there. And then again, this greenery part, uh, the stamp from that is a touch of ink. And the paper here is the oh so ombre. So let me, I actually didn't bring the paper over with me, but I was gonna show you the whole stack. It's the ombre paper is um, Blackberry Bliss and Granny Apple Green uh, ombre in two different patterns. This pattern where it goes this way and then this dot pattern goes from corner to corner, light to dark. So we've got the Granny Apple Green, the Blackberry Bliss, and I believe there is Rococo Rose is on the back of this. I think it's Bermuda Bay. I'd have to look at it. Anyway, so we're going to do this ombre effect today. And I haven't put together a preliminary card, so we're just going to play and hope that we get done before the kids get off the bus. <laughs> kind of winging it today. Okay, so what I thought I would do is um, take this piece as my base for behind the starburst effect to have something to glue down onto. Now I wanted to show you, um, let's see, this is a regular card base, right? And usually we would cut a base a quarter of an inch smaller to fit on here. But when you lay out your strips, and I'll show you how to cut these in a minute. When you lay out these strips along the edge here, and you start laying them down, which looks really cool by the way, they don't quite go to the end here. So I figured out that it has to be a little bit smaller in order to cover the entire background piece. So we're gonna cut this piece down just a little bit so that we can get these into the corner. I was able to do this entire panel with one sheet of the DSP, so that was really helpful. I like conserving my, my paper. Okay, so this piece, 
Actually, I don't remember what size it is. Let's see. Looks like it is three and a half by five, maybe? Four and three quarters. Three and a half by four and three quarters. So that would take us down half an inch from where we thought we would be. So you're taking three quarters of an inch off of the base piece. Because this is at, yeah, five and a quarter. This would be four and three quarters. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Let's just pull this up to this piece over here and see if I did it right. Yes, three and a half by four and three quarters. And your sheets will just barely cover from the one corner all the way to the other corner. Okay, so the way to cut these, I'll bring the trimmer back out. What you wanna do is make sure that your paper is going light to dark up and down and don't cut it this way because then you won't get the cool ombre effect. So we'll bring this back in, make room here. Still have my little piece. So what we're gonna do is lay it this way. This is a six inch by six inch piece of paper. So we're gonna utilize this the most um, we can. We're gonna cut it in half at three inches. And then in half again at one and a half inches. So we're gonna end up with four strips where we have light to dark running up and down. And then we're gonna take one of the strips and point one corner and the opposite corner in the track. So line it up in the track as best as you can. Hold it down with the bar here. And now we have two pieces that will have opposing lights and darks just like that, super easy. Hi, Becky. And they will all be the same. You can stack them all together like this if you're doing it the same direction. So what I did, let's see, I turned it this way. I think on the other side I did the other way. It doesn't really matter. But um, let's see, we go this way and just do this four times and then we'll have enough for another card front. Look, Danielle, I've got the color street uh, samples that I got with my order <laughs> uh, and I finally, I don't know, I, I just had them, I hoarded them in my cupboard and so I finally put them on. <laughs> okay, one more. Oops. Okay, so now we've got these I've got, and I can use these either in the Blackberry Bliss or the Granny Apple Green here. So I'll put those aside for right now. I already did a whole set here, and we're just gonna glue them on this card front. So this is the smaller version again, and I'm just gonna cover it with glue. And before I do that, I'm just gonna lay these out and make sure I've got enough. I think I have when you do the cuts and have, what is it, eight pieces. I think this only requires seven pieces, so you will have one left over. So I did this already with the green, excuse me, and so I have another one left over from that time. So now I'll have two since I cut another piece. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so you can see that it covers the end now, but only, only just. It's really close. So let's go ahead and just put some glue on here. I really want to make sure I put glue really good where all of the points are meeting because I think that is important to make sure that those are glued down. So I'll make sure I make a nice thin layer right here in the corner and lay this pretty good. Now, in order to get your sides even, 
have a suggestion. Let's see, we've got how many pieces? Seven pieces. I'm gonna take this middle one and start with that one and put it just to the left of the corner here, lined up with the corner. So it's lined up the edges with the corner and then the point is with this corner. And then I'm just going to butt all of the other pieces up against that one. And that way, <clears throat> I think if I've done my calculations correctly, this piece on this side should hang off the edge about the same amount that this, this side will. This is a little sticky. Okay, we've got this side. If you wanted the starburst in the middle, you could do that, but it would probably take two of the sheets of paper instead of just one. Okay, so now we've got our starburst, but that's not gonna fit on a card just like that. We're gonna have to trim off along the back. You see, um, it's not quite as even as I wanted it to be, but that's okay. See, so you can have some overhang here and here, so you'll just have to snip along both of those edges. So I wanna make sure this is nice and glued down before I take it to the trimmer because I don't want the trimmer shifting what we just did. Hi, Julie. Oh, you, you and Danielle both have color sheet on right now? <laughs> That's funny. Well, now I've gotta go put on a whole set after this one falls off. I do have some cool ones. I'm I'm hoarding them. I don't know why. I just feel like I need to save them for a special occasion. And I don't. I can just wear them when I want. All right, we've got this strip off. This little bar is kind of in the way, so I'm going to lift this just a smidge. Line this up as best I can in the track here. Looking through the top. Hopefully this is straight. Get it off, off of there. And the other side. This is gonna look really cool when we turn it over. But you wanna do it from the back side so you can see where to trim. Come on. Okay, ready for the big reveal? Push all our scraps to the side. Ooh! <laughs> that looks cool, right? So it kind of looks, it has this like satiny feel to it. So I thought with this one, where did my card base go? Oh, here it is. I didn't really plan out this card in advance as much as I wanted to. I think what I'm gonna do, see with this one, I put a green border around it. I'm gonna not glue this down. I'll show you the final card later, but I think I'm gonna put a Blackberry Bliss background piece behind here, because I think that'll look better. We can test it just by kind of looking at it like this to kind of get a glimpse of what that might look like. That's, that's gonna look better. I didn't bring that paper over here. And I should have. Yeah, that's gonna look better, right? Okay, we're gonna do that, but for the time being, we're just going to play around with the layout. So again, <laughs> I didn't really plan this well, but that's okay. All right, so what I have is this Strawberry Builder Punch that goes with the Sweet Strawberry Stamp Set, which I'm loving. And I want to play with this little tiny flower that matches with these, although I'm not gonna be stamping it today. I'm just gonna be punching it out in white. And I used this Hello There stamp from here too, and I stamped that in Blackberry Bliss already and cut it out with one of our dies from the Ornate Frames dies. I love these dies, they're, they're fancy, um, and some of them are nice little tag with a hole. 
um, layering frame sizes. This one goes inside this really fancy one. This one goes inside this super fancy one. And I really like this little ornate stitched little piece. So I did that hello there already in that tag size. And I'm gonna, I punched out a few of these already. What I'm gonna do is color some of our plain rhinestones with, got pieces everywhere. Our plain rhinestones are wonderful because you can take our blends and recolor them to match any of your projects. So I'm going to be taking my dark blackberry bliss, which is the color of this paper, and just coloring a few of these littler ones to put in the center of the flowers. So I think, I'm not sure how many we're going to have, but we'll color a few for right now and see how quick that you have matching embellishments. I love that. So we'll just color a few of those and set that aside for a moment. And I punched out a few of these. Now with these builder punches, they punch out all of these at once. And so you don't want to be wasting all of that paper if you don't need to. So let me show you a trick. I cut this strip of paper that is just a little bit less than an inch, just so it would fit this flower. So I'm gonna feed it into here and punch it and I can push it in further and punch it again. It doesn't matter that this is gonna chew up what we already punched because I don't need that piece and we're not wasting a whole bunch of paper. So it will be a little bit messy with all of these flowers and bits flying everywhere, but that's okay. See, we can just quickly punch out a bunch of stuff, separate the good stuff from the bad stuff, and the, at the end, you just turn it around so you have a handle to punch your last one probably won't need this many flowers but I just wanted to show you that trick with those builder punches and how not to waste your paper okay so now we've got all of these little flowers and I can shape them by just putting them in my hand and pushing on them and that kind of rounds up the edges a little bit and gives it a little bit of life see and then we'll just put one of our colored rhinestones right in the middle of all of those. So I'll go ahead and just give those a press. Bring our flowers to life, bend up the edges. It's okay if the paper creases or wrinkles or anything. Flowers have a, a bunch of variety and shapes to them. So we want it to be a little bit visually interesting, right? And the more you shape it the better it's going to be in an envelope and kind of get flattened out in the mail anyway so all right and that should be enough for now just take this on the tip of my scissors maybe Oop, throwing stuff oh i got a different size before that's okay we can throw few different sizes on the centers of these flowers. That might be fun too. I'm gonna color one of these bigger ones then. Have some little and some big. We'll let that one dry for a minute. These are alcohol markers, so they will dry really fast. All right. Oops. <laughs> they usually don't stick down until you give them a good press so if you drop it because they're so small it's okay bye Danielle see you in a little bit well sort of <laughs> Have fun doing school at home with the kids. Wee! <laughs> oh, here come my kids off the bus. So, apologize for the noise coming in, but we'll try to throw this together real quick. So we've got these flowers. We've got this background that's gonna go be bordered by the Blackberry Bliss background. And um, I think that I'd like to throw in a little bit of green with the flowers. So I saw somebody else use the 
stem part here as leaves for these tiny flowers. I thought that was so clever. So I thought, let's stick with the ombre paper here. This is the Granny Apple Green with the dots. And I thought I would just punch out the um, stem here all along the edge. And I just started at this side and then kept going and it kind of chewed up this bit right here. So I could have cut the strip. Um, sometimes you don't have to cut it all the way. So I do have a few of these little pieces and what I'm going to do is cut them in half. Here come my kids. I'm doing a video right now if you could keep it down. Thanks. We've got now these little pieces like this. So I'll cut a bunch of these in half and we'll just place these behind some of our flowers. And it's kind of nice since this is ombre paper, you're going to have a varying shade of greens throughout these little pieces. So I don't know if you'll be able to notice. <laughs> we'll see. I haven't done this before. You're going to find out when I do, if this looks okay. <laughs> All right, so, we're, we're, excuse me, I'm on a video right now. <clears throat> okay, so um, let's see, we've got our little flowers. The corner here where all of the points come together always looks a little bit uh, messy, and so I thought we would kind of cover this up and just maybe have some flower grouping right here and then maybe some more up here just as a kind of neat color uh, flower spray and then maybe put our little sentiment right here so the card would open up this way so hopefully this looks good <laughs> i don't really know what i'm doing so um judah judah can you not talk at the moment i'm almost done with my video all right thanks <laughs> I'm gonna use glue dots because I think that'll be the easiest here. Maybe. Or maybe I'll just, we'll just put a little, I want it to come off the edge I think a little bit. Maybe I will just use this. I'll just place that there, then we have some wiggle room. This might be faster. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I should have brought dimensionals over too. Man, I was not prepared. So I'm gonna have this on dimensionals <laughs> and then maybe have some of these leaves kind of poking out from the back of this. I thought about putting this label behind here. That might look okay. It might be too much. We'll find out. Okay, so let's, let's do this. We're gonna put a little glue on the back of this and then stick our stems on and then just glue the whole thing down. Oops. <clears throat> Hope you guys don't mind kid noise because that's where we live right now in kid noise land. <laughs> <laughs> this is them being quiet. <laughs> okay, so that's oh, cute, right? So I want to make sure I get this corner really good. <clears throat> and I'm going to point the leaves off of that edge too. Hopefully not get glue. Oh, my finger's sticky. Yeah, that looks nice. So I don't know how many flowers I want to do, but kind of just kind of have them be a spray and then have our greeting down in this right hand corner. Do I want them more spread out or do I want them kind of clustered? I think I want them clustered. And we'll maybe put another flower on our greeting. That would be cute, right? Um, are you done? Nope, I'm not done yet. Thanks for checking. Oops. 
I've really got a sticky finger here. I've got to use a different finger. Okay, here's our other big flower. I'll put that... We've got two big rhinestones in the middle here, so I'm going to make sure that those are not next to each other. I should have put one up here. That's okay. This is my thought process. <laughs> Julie says, you miss my kids. Thanks, Julie. You can have, uh, borrow them anytime you want. <laughs> Any time. <laughs> oh, your kids are getting big, aren't they? Oh my goodness. Seems like with COVID, we haven't seen anyone like in person for a while. And so you just kind of think about everybody's kids like the last time you saw them, but in reality, everybody's grown up an entire year and you've missed it, you know? So it's, it's weird to see pictures of other people's kids and you're like, wait, no, how did they grow so big? I don't understand. <laughs> like, you know, you understand, but it's just weird that you, I don't know, you just kind of miss these moments, the little everyday moments of people growing up, right? Okay, is that enough flowers over there? Should we do one more over here? If we need another, another one over here. I think we need another one, or maybe another two. I'm not sure. Man, my fingers are so sticky. Okay. There we've got one, two. Where'd my rhinestones go? Here they are. Let's do another big one. There's my marker. Okay. Got that one and this little one. Maybe. Ooh, it jumped. Come here. I love these rhinestones. This whole sheet's only five dollars, and they're so versatile that because you, you can color them, and they make every project just so pretty. Oh yeah, we just needed more flowers. More the better, right? Okay, let's see. Maybe like that. I think this behind there is going to be too much. Yeah, I don't like that. We're going to keep this. I'm never as fast doing these things as I think I will be. <laughs> like, oh, I've got 20 minutes. I can knock out a video in 20 minutes. Now we've got to set up the camera and get everybody... Get, the, get all your pieces put together. That's okay. Thanks for playing along with me. Oh, I got some glue goobers on there. I think with clean hands I'll be able to scrape that off a little bit better. Okay, so this will be going on dimensionals right here. And this flower might also. So let's just put the leaf on. If you are watching on YouTube later, I will be posting the finished project with the background and everything on my Facebook page. So if you'd like to pop over and take a view of that, today's date is January 25, 2021, and you should be able to see it on that date. Oh, I didn't glue this one down. Okay, we got one more over here. Sorry, my kids are getting their lunch together. My fridge beeps when you leave the door open too long because I need that alarm because the kids are always leaving the door open. <laughs> That's cool. It looks like it's exploding flowers, right? Oh, I like that. Okay, so I think this is where we're going to 
leave it for now and I will be putting a background on there. But what do you think? The background looks nice, right? The ombre effect. I'll lift this up just so you can see it a little bit better. I think my camera should be down just a smidge. So I think that looks nice and I'll be finishing that up and posting a picture of that on my Facebook page today. So thanks for watching guys. If you want to uh, order any product that and earn this ombre paper for free, you can go to delightofmyart.stampinup.net and go and order some things with a $50 purchase. This paper pack is free. It's 48 sheets of the four different colors. And um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.